It's the latest in an epidemic of terrifying episodes in the sky. An unruly passenger is subdued after running amok. There have been nearly 3,000 air rage cases so far this year, more than in the entire previous 10 years. So what's behind the upsurge? Experts say it's frustration over wearing masks. In many cases, alcohol is involved. But there's a growing belief that class warfare could be one major contributing factor. Air rage is four times more likely to occur when coach passengers had to pass through a first class compartment to get to their seats. They're walking through different classes of service and as they go back, the seats get smaller and closer together and the amenities become fewer and fewer. The latest incident involved, of all people, a flight attendant on leave. You can see a head injury apparently sustained in the struggle. 34-year-old Stefan Duncan apparently suffered a mental health breakdown. He was restrained by other passengers after he tried to open a door mid-air on a flight from LAX to Atlanta. You don't know if he has a knife, if he has a gun, if he has a bomb. Prominent businessman Rashawn Williams, a frequent guest on CNBC, answered the pilot's plea for help. I grabbed him by the shoulders, pull him to the ground, pull his hood over his head, and then I just restrained him on the ground. So the videos you see, you see a guy with a blue uh, hoodie on, that's me. I'm holding him down the entire time. I need everyone to take their seats right now, with the exception of this group right here. We can't get forward with restraints if everybody's in the aisle. This was the suspect minutes before he freaked out, wearing a wacky combination of helmet and baseball hat. Police say he passed a bizarre note to a flight attendant saying, alert Delta manager, terrorist on board. He slid them a letter and said that I was making terroristic threats. Duncan is being held in a county jail in Oklahoma, where the plane made an emergency landing. Delta thanked everyone who assisted in detaining that passenger.